guys, welcome back. The final episode in the series has come at last. And it's going to be different. Today, we are doing a top tens video. So, this video is going to give you top ten things the film got wrong, which the book got right because it was written first. Number one. So let's start with the thing I've been going on with for literally all of the series. Morgoz's age. As I've mentioned countless times, Morgoz at the beginning of the book is a mere 13 years old, so one year younger than I am now. However, film. She is an adult throughout the entire movie. Anyone tell me why Morgane got a younger actress to play her and Morgul's, you're telling me, didn't? I can't find an explanation. Two. Camelot is the main stage from beginning to end. So we have to have established that it is in fact Carlion or Carlion, however you pronounce it, and not Camelot for about half of the book. Half of the freaking book. I mean, come on, at least get a good set! At least a good set! Guys! Number three! Number three. Morgan only finds out it was after. <laughs> after. After the fertility rites. Well, directors, you've made a grave mistake. Actually, you've done a great job of mixing up the storyline all together. It's just one tiny detail. Just one. It's not that hard. Progressing. Number four. Gideon is called Mordred all through the film. I know the names are hard to keep track of, but it's just a matter of editing the script. Still not that hard. Or is it? Have these people even read the book? Because I'm beginning to doubt it. And you will doubt it even more after you hear what I have to say. Next. Halfway point number five. A major character doesn't get a show. A major character is missing. Kevin, the crippled harpist who replaces the Merlin of Britain and then betrays Avalon, is entirely missing from the entire film. Not one scene. He doesn't appear in one single scene. And trust me, I've watched the entire film multiple times. Well, not all in one go, but I have watched it a few times, and I know he does not appear. Continuing with number six. Morgane does not trick Lancelot into marrying Lady Elaine. He marries her freely. I'm pretty certain that in the book, Morgane tricked Lancelot. Lancelot had to be tricked into marrying Lady Elaine. And... Might I just say, Morgane is not the bad guy in this situation. In fact, I refuse to believe that Morgane is the bad guy in this situation because she's been the good guy throughout the entire book and also the film. Yeah. I don't need to go any further into this. Number seven. Nimue, the daughter of Lancelot and Lady Elaine, who becomes a priestess of Avalon and... Brings Kevin to Avalon to be executed 
and who then commits suicide is non-existent in the film. Why? I've already expressed my views on this. <clears throat> Morgaine doesn't get pregnant again. She is supposed to get an abortion. Another part, even if it's a sideline, is missing. This film is cutting out one heck of a lot. Like a frickin' lot. He mistakes. Acheron doesn't die. Yay. However, there is no duel between him and Arthur for who gets to, uh, keep the throne. Too bad. But it is a mistake and we're counting it anyway. However much we wish it wasn't a mistake. Number ten. Our final episode is drawing to a close, guys. It's sad. Bye bye, Mrs. of Avalon. But we do have one final mistake that the film made for you guys. Here it is. There is no duel between Lancelot and Gideon, aka Mordred, for Mordred's, Mordred slash Gideon's, I don't know how to call this kid anymore, initiation into knighthood. That's the final mistake. So that's all I got for you guys in this series. There will be a lot of new episode singles coming out soon. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again. See you next time.